Hi everyone, welcome to Cactus Caffeine and my name is Anna. Today I want to talk to you about this uh, Mammillaria senilis cactus. So this is the first Mammillaria senilis that I've had. Actually it is still the only Mammillaria senilis that I have and I will tell you why in a little while. So I've had this cactus for about three years now and every year it would flower for me like it would have two or three red flowers early in spring or late winter this is one of the early bloomers that I have in my collection but every year I would try to just cross pollinate the flower where well, it's not really cross pollinating but I would just pollinate the flowers that it produces within the same cactus since I only have one and for three years now I haven't had any success doing that I haven't um, developed any seed pod on this one every time I would do that so that makes me conclude that this one is not self fertile okay for the second senilis right here now a friend of mine asked me to buy him a senilis because he was having a hard time sourcing it where he's at so he asked me if I could buy him a senilis and I did and that was early in February and I was supposed to give this to him but then the COVID happened worldwide and it stopped almost everything so long story short I was not able to give this to him right away it is now June and I still have it with me but pretty soon he will be getting this cactus so I will be giving it to him pretty soon so when I got this cactus I was surprised because it had already two flower buds when I got it but then this senilis of mine also had flower buds at that time but the flower buds on this one developed earlier so 10 days earlier the flowers on this opened and then 10 days later the flowers on this opened so their flowers did not open at the same time okay so when this flowered I thought what if I save the pollen from this one and refrigerate it and use it later on to pollinate the flowers that will be opening on this second senilis so I got that idea from the internet I was able to watch um, a video wherein they used a refrigerated pollen although I think it was for an epiphytic cacti one of the epiphyllum so the pollen was refrigerated I don't know for how long anyway they were able to pollinate flowers using refrigerated or frozen pollen so with that idea that's what I did with this one so when this flowered I actually saved the pollen placed them in the refrigerator not even the freezer actually I did not know what I was doing so I wasn't really sure if it was going to work so I just saved the pollen placed it in the refrigerator not the freezer refrigerator actually I placed it right behind where I keep my eggs so it was in that area where I keep my eggs I kept the pollen in a ziploc bag and 10 days later the flowers on this second one opened and I used the refrigerated pollen to pollinate the flowers on this second senilis okay but before I proceed with this video let me just take you on a quick flashback on the process that I did in pollinating this cactus
So, was I successful? I believe so. Because if you can see, there are what looks like fruit developing on them. So, this one, the flowers just dried up. I can actually take this off. So see, it is just um, dried flowers. There's no seed pod on this one. But for this one, I do see something developing right there. All right, everyone, I am back for an update. So I have bad news and a good news for you. Okay, so let's start with the bad news first. So today I was taking this Senilis out of its pot because I was getting ready to ship it to my friend. And when you look at it from the top, it looks, everything looks normal. But when I took it out of its pot, guys, I discovered that the bottom was rotting. It was actually very soft. And when I poked it, there's a big hole in there. So the inside rotted totally. And I did not see that coming because there is no sign from above here. Well, I think what went wrong with this is because I kept it in its plastic nursery pot. As many of you know, I keep about 90% of my cactus in terracotta pots like this because um, with terracotta pots, there is less risk of root rot because the soil can breathe and I can easily tell if the soil is dry by feeling the pot. But I kept it in this pot. This is the plastic nursery pot that it came in and obviously i overwatered it and it's summer right now so i think this cactus is actually in its summer dormancy because we are at the height of summer but i kept on watering it in this plastic pot so anyway that's what happened to this so my friend i'm so sorry but i promise i'm gonna find you another one all right so now off to the good news well, the good news is the seed pods that were attached to this remained attached. So when I found out that this cactus is beyond, you know, it, it cannot recover this cactus anymore. So what I did was I took out the seed pods. And look at this. The seed pods are still green, but when I cracked it open, they are actually seeds inside it yeah so that's the good news i am able to get seeds out of that cactus and then there here's another one this one is dry but oh nice look at all those seeds see it is full of seeds so this is the good news so our pollination using the refrigerated pollens are successful we are able to create seed pods and form seeds all right so i will be planting this soon and keep you guys posted if i am able to germinate this seeds So here are the seeds that I gathered from the Mammillaria senilis cactus fruits that were formed using the refrigerated pollen. Like I said, this is the first time that I did this and there is a slight chance that a bee might have intercepted my flowers inside my greenhouse at that time. But I've had a senilis for three years now and I was never successful at pollinating the flowers. I even tried pollinating this with uh, other Mammillaria flowers and I had no success until now that I used the refrigerated pollen. To finish my long story, it is now August and when I started the whole process that was way back in March, I was able to get another Senilis for my friend and I also gave him some of these seeds. He was able to plant them right away and another good news is that they germinated. So here is a picture of the Senili seedlings that just germinated for him. 
So if you have cactus flowers that you want to pollinate but you do not have them blooming at the same time, you may want to experiment and try this method too. Um, you will find many other videos on the internet on how this is properly done. The key to this is keeping your pollen as dry as possible because moisture will make your pollen go bad. Also, if you plan to store the pollen longer, freezing them would be the best option. So, I will end this very long story on how I got my Mammillaria sinilis to develop a cactus fruit. I hope you like my little experiment. Give me a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more videos about my passion for growing cactus. Until my next video again, bye and cheers! Thank you.